I got time for one more free wheeling, hopping jolly good time. I'd love to see my uh, my frost armor buff right here, right now. Go get the stuff identified, yeah? Raging Hate Glacier rages alongside me. Perpetual rage. We remain defiant and mad thirsty. This seems good. This looks good. I will hit level 6 enemies about 120% of the time. Good. <laughs> Those numbers seem fine. Identify everything for me, please, Headmaster. Bam! Stop! Do my eyes deceive me? Is this going to be inventory? It might be inventory. Why can't I toss a poultry protection potion to my hate glacier? My hate boner demands more power. Carefully escape dungeon combat, blinking curse gear, eat curse. Assume the curse magic which will damage you, but they also make you stronger in the process. Some fortifications. Eleven scrolls of identify. Ignore laughable projectiles. Orb of the spare. Pin to win. Solvent. Wise eyes. Damn. Battle potion champion. That's good stuff. We know that we can pound the first potion for free in a turn. So we get into a, a pickle. We can slam down a pot. Be good to go. No, uh, make all enemies around you champions. We, uh... We'll have to live, I guess. Ignores 5% of incoming damage, and we get some recovery every fight. What can we, uh... What we could we possibly put on instead? I mean, we have... So much. Look at this poultry tab. You see how we haven't had any more eggs drop? Good. Map to the halls of glyphs. Use this item in the overworld to discover a long-lost location of adventure and danger. Plus 44% additional murderous and crafty bees! Understood. We have things to return to the Academy Headmaster. Maybe we will. I think I'm going to keep on my stream scryer circle hoops. Armor-wise, we definitely can wear real armor. <laughs> Bam. He's got better dodge, man. Oh, one moment. Let's do a little bit of video editing. There we go. Had to handle an interruption. It was a great interruption. My time is not my own, sure. And I can be frustrated when I'm doing serious gaming business. But the prospect of free food from my neighbor, hmm? It's good to build quality relationships with your neighbors. They can look out for things. You can look out for them too. Particularly if your neighbors do work quality jobs that can assist you in a myriad of ways. In my case, deputy sheriff and nurse. Where were we? Looking at stuff? feel like I was looking at gear. Look at this. These cooler, solid, sterilized bronze clogs plus two. Fuck yeah. Let's fucking go. Got some fire resist here. That shit's for the birds. This smoke stalker stride. We'll lock that. Be placed in the war gear vault. Supple and silent. With subtle leather knots woven down the hip. One for each of the murderous contracts carried out by the previous wearer. Are we going to remove those? No? Okay. <laughs> Alright, fine, whatever. It's good. No, it's cool. Obviously, we're not replacing the attunement with any of these things. 
Oh, we can wear a little adorable mini cloak. Hmm. Indigo Super Cagey Battle ma Mage Epaulette. Yeah, we'll wear those, sure. Seems good. We can actually replace our torso piece now. Oh no, a sneeze is coming on. You. Excuse me. Bless. Bless me. Lowering my starlight resist by getting all this in. Gonna continue to lower it even more. What a fool I am. Let's put that on and see what uh, anything does better. I could just uh, put that on and uh, not drop the starlight resist so much. I want to get dunked on, you know? Maybe get some poison resist going instead. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got some bracers, but we're not replacing these. There's not enough spell power there on the table. And uh, this hat would take a, a bit to replace, too. That's for sure. All right, looking great. Range-wise, uh, I mean, yep, 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 mouse, yep. I could definitely raise my spell power. Of that, there is no doubt. If there was a one-handed staff in here, we would we would be in business. There is not. What do you mean? What do you mean there's no one-handed staff? Come on. Put like a wand for me? Come on. Come on. Was once able to cast Mel's flaccid arrow, but even that power has fled this unfortunate vessel. Damn. It's fucked up. <laughs> Bonefist Cane, Bonefist Cane plus two, dreadcrafted. What, is, what do those descriptors mean there, you think? I would have to lose out on plus four strength, plus four skills, and plus six foom, along with 80 bonus spell powers, so you know... Not gonna be able to do it. We can put another one-handed weapon in, though. Something that uh, maybe brings something to the table. Not seeing anything here that really does it for me. Consume the curses infesting my inventory. I take seven damage. They've been devoured. That's the end of that. Okay. Cool. Inventorying has been done. I forget what's in that slot. This one's an egg slot? We're fine, though. It's all good. Hey, bud. That's some relics here. Anicated Mephibrillator. It's a vintage Mephibrillator you've got there, and my word, it's Anicated. The Alchemy Lab will delight in this. Thank you so much. Quite a treasure you have here. Star Shard. Another fine relic. Sorry, but it doesn't look like you have any further fucking... Well, then fine. Didn't want that anyway. Ah, oh, Jarek Viermol, checking out the Alchemy Laboratory, I see. Well, no touching and certainly no drinking. The very best possible Alchemy Lab. I'll take careful, frothy notes on any Purpolonian cocktails I drink. I guess. Bump up a few times. You doing good in there, bud? I bet he's good. doing great. There's so much room for expansion here. Hmm. Let's put this item into the vault. There, I'm not just taking things, I'm putting things in too. I could build something from one of my blueprints. Ooh. Yeah, I could make a... One-handed sword, perhaps, to, to dual wield with. Yes.
That's 14 foom. I like the sound of 14 foom. 14 foom looks good to me. Oh. Oh, we gotta bring in other weapons too. Son, you sons of bitches. Fucked again. <laughs> How could this happen? How could I be fucked over like this? Oh, well, I have a dark steel crescent laying around. It'd be nice if that lit up, at least in a way that I could tell. Like, hey, bud, you got this stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Not bitter or anything. No, it's cool. It's cool. No, it's fine. Whatever. No, it's fine. I could melt the stuff down, or I could just keep it. I don't think I am going to, like, equip any of this stuff, though. I think I'd just sell it. Our purloined inventory. To support the local economy. Who's got time for the local economy? I'm a necromancer. Speed digging Pete. Having a time. You. Spin. 44 points. We, we had these all at 28. Now look at where they've gone. They've, they've gone wild. That's where they've gone. Give me four more points of foom, please. Yes. Aggressive pointing. Let's foom it up. How long did that spend? Before the video editing, I have to pick. Okay, we got we got time for getting our feet wet somewhere. I think. Wet feet. There we go. Ah! Howdy. Have you heard the good word? Necromancy! It's here for you. Why is this grayed out? Requires light armor. Because ah. we're wearing some real armor boots. We can no longer shield up. I see. I see. Look at us learning. Gross. Go get him. Getting up here to have occurred. Ow, my body. I'm bleeding to death now. And it's your fault. Jerk. Another book. The Legend of Drazo. I bet that's a, a dual-wielding book. Have a look. Whoop. Whoop. House wheel. Er. Just press the up arrow. One point in Dungeon Dervish. Two scimitars, one elf, all edged. Yes. Dual wielder. Extraordinaire. If I can find where it is, yes. Dashing charge. Dash to fire scores away, attacking the enemies you move through. How we, uh, we, we tempo power. We'll think about it. But for now, I have to replace these boots. It must be done. We gotta wear some light armor there. They're really strong, but I want to keep my shield. So, something like... It provides flat, more flat stats. It provides some gold resist. I think the uh, flat stats are a way to go here. And I think the boots were at the top. 
Okay. Good intel. Good intel. We're learning about our powers and abilities, viewers. At least I am. We'll slowly heal while walking around on the screen, damn it, and I will I will be pleased about it. Alright. Let's go. Get into some trouble. The Rock of Sunken Dreams. Scrobold stink clings like film as described in Academy Texts. What evil choked this place in the silence? I don't know, but I'm about to kill the silence. How dare you be down there? Yoo-hoo, enemies. That's right, Trey. Dungeon Man's is back. Train is incredibly excited about this sort of events and is eager to learn more. As it should be. It's nice to be rocking a, like rocking some real range here after our fighter man's adventures. Obviously, we saw that stairwell, but what if there was more? Hello. Hmm. <laughs> that is satisfying to do. Our shield, by the way, is also huge. Huge shield. The biggest of shields. It is known, it is said. Hello. You thought you were gonna get me. But then you got got. Think about that. Secret door? It's an ancient ba- ancient king, excuse me, with 1200 HP. Behold my 97 friends. Out here doing real necromancy. Wild. That was a scutum. A shield that was picked up. It's large. It's Lorg. Can't use it. Thought it was a stairwell. Nope. Where do you think you're going? That's an ally. Undead sharpshooter. Big fan of necromancy. <laughs> Something secret around here. Where could it be? We found it. It's another ancient king. Whoa! Invisible. Why is my phone ringing? I'm not here trying to slay ancient kings, man. People trying to get a hold of me. There we go. I'm glad there's been a proper line happening here. And of course, I am generating these due to how the ancient texts were written. said I would have dead pulses continue to vomit out as I struck these ancient kings. That's the power of necromancy right there. Radiant Star Shard. Keep it in mind. And yeah, that guy had nothing on us. Ancient king out here living in a monster closet. As one does. Oop. 
trying to train myself to get into the habit of shielding up before I enter these places. It seems wise. There's our stairwell down. Keep it moving. Scrobold workout bandana. Get fisted. Alright, this was the realm of kings. I opened that. Yes, good. I will walk back down here manually. Great. Hello. Proceed. I mean, you certainly dashed to your death. That is to be commended. Beautiful crit. But wait, there's more. Something secret around here. Another portal. A hall of champions. That does sound like exactly where I belong, damn it. I am a champion. Enemies spawning over there. How dare they. <laughs> Allow me to retort. <laughs> There's our stairwell down. Another secret. It's another Hall of Champions. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Local Oracle strikes again. Howdy. I see that money back here. Money keeps getting left as more kills keep occurring. Limitless wealth. Yep. You need to last longer. How dare you not last longer? There's a level up for us. For us? For me? For me. Level up just for me. Hell yeah. Well, let's keep it going, Necro Nom 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 Put it on the board. One day I will resort those... Sir. This is not a Wendy's. Another secret door. Where could it go? Money! Thank the stars it's not a third hall of champions, because... Too many champions. The ancient kings were... Like a pair of them were on the last floor. Sworn adversaries. Entombed. For all time. 
You can see the wall there that doubtlessly is one of the arenas where the champions live and work. Why these barrels don't explode and deal damage to me? Played enough games where that happens. Oh no. I nearly killed my damn self on the barrels. Son of a bitch. Just spoon it up. Okay. We got time to do one of these. Mm -hmm. No, we do not. As such, it appears that our adventures this episode end here before Champion Land begins in earnest. Come back next time, where we double haul, double haul. Yeah, double. See you then.